Hey YouTube, this is Dean, make another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Okay, ash lye cotton. Um, this was in the strongest solution for uh, uh, 36 hours, maybe. Anyway, I tested it yesterday, and it wouldn't take a spark. I ember transferred, and it smouldered okay. But, um... So I put it in the oven. I did make a video about it, but I started swearing, so I deleted it. Because um, it was very frustrating. I want it to work, but it's not. I put it back in the oven again. And... Dried it out some more. It's the only thing I can think of that might be that it wasn't dry enough if this doesn't take a spark now um that's it for me for cotton i also tried the punk wood and <sighs> with my new viking bow and it wouldn't take a spark from it either so i'm getting inconsistent response results from punk wood if I don't use my best strikers the good forge striker sparks really well but it's a bit harder to use because it's smaller and um, there's not a lot of real estate to hold on to so you've got to take that into consideration too with the ash lie um, punk wood I can get it to spark to take a spark with this striker, because it sparks incredibly well, but it's got a lot of real estate to hold on to, and I can spark with it really well. But with a smaller striker, and not a lot of real estate to hold on to, you can't get it to spark as well. Also, I found with Ash Lye stuff, because it doesn't take a spark as quickly, you're burning your stones out a lot quicker you have to spark a lot more, hence you burn your stones out quicker. So overall, um, yeah, this is not a thing that I like to pursue as much. Um, I know I've spent a lot of time on it recently, but um, yeah, it's, it's frustrating. It's not as promising It's not a promising thing. Like, it just, you've got to pick your stones, you've got to pick, everything's got to be running in order for you to get this thing to work perfectly. And you can do it, and it, you can have the best solution. Like, I've got 12 pH ash lye Soak the stuff in it, dry it out, have it completely dry and it still won't take a spark. So I don't know what else I can do to get it to do. Anyway, this is ash lye cotton. There's the fuzzies. It's falling all over it. some more fuzzies there this is right it's all yellow here so that's where the ash lie was this was in the oven for a day and a half like 12 hours it's not going to get drier than this drying it out in the sun doesn't make a difference. It's just slower. As far as I'm concerned, um, I don't see how it could make it any different. It just won't pick a spark up. It just doesn't pick a spark up. It just won't do it for me. 
I don't know how Jason got his to do it. I don't know what the difference is between his solution and my solution is. He's drawing his out next to a fire, so ambient heat. Magpie just dropped in next to me. Oh, the camera. I fed them all so they, they can, they've been fed. It's not taking a spark. All I'm doing is wearing my arm out. I can ember transfer onto that, but it won't take a spark. Doesn't matter what piece I use. That's yellow right there. So that's had ash lie right on it. Okay, it did right there and then went out. This is what I had with the other one. With punk wood, it would take a spark and then go out. It's too inconsistent for me. I'm not going to do it. Andrew wanted me to test this. All I'm doing is burning my stones out. That black residue is just charcoal. This is where I get frustrated because I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do and it's not working. Light paper took a spark. There you go. Andrew is right. Ash light paper. Like a champ. So I got my ash light paper to do it. That's ash light paper under the bottom there. See the big orange? That's ash light paper. Took a spark. He's a thinking man. He's always on ball. This paper here, ah, uh, this cart cardboard, ah, oh, that way. I don't know why, but that paper will. Anyway, so there you go. I've got ash lie paper to take a spark, but I can't get ash lie cotton to take a spark um, yeah interesting very interesting so you can soak that I could get that to take a spark not a drama but um, and that is just the paper ah, I'll get this right I'm all bamboozled um, that is just the cotton 
sitting on the paper and then it's soaking into the there because this is white when I put it in there and then it dries out and soaks into there and that's just the residue going into there so a lot of the ash lie must be going into the paper but you can see here uh, maybe be a bit more discerning on where I pick see this is the thing too uh, do you have to be this, this discerning in your pick only the best bits out of it I suppose I do it from a char cloth I do tend to arm saw because that's yellow from the ash light Strikes getting worn out. I know my arm's sore. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't seem to want to. It had. Some, it's gone brown from all the amount of sparks I'm firing into it. That's yellow. It's all yellow here. It's where the ash lie was, it's still, you can still see where the ash lie's been sitting in it. It's not taking a spark. I've given it a good go, mate. Like, I can't get it to take a spark. I'm driving sparks into it. That's, all I'm doing is burning. I'm going to have to redress that. That's got a dip in it now. I'm going to have to, because I'm wearing into the side of the, I'm going to have to take her off because that's, anyway, that's neither here nor there. They're disposable as such. Um, they're not disposable, but they're, they're a wearing item. Um, I'm not doing that anymore. I get sore arms from it and it doesn't work for me. So cotton is a bust. Ashlow paper, you beauty, work seemed to work for me. But um, yeah, not worth the effort to make ashlow paper because that is um, just an exercise in futility. You saw how fast it burned up. Um, you'd never get enough of it. You would have to use all that to get a paper bundle going uh tinder bundle going and i just don't see the point in it personally um 
for me, this is a waste of time. Um, it's inconsistent. It will not take a spark. I could ember transfer onto that. Yep, no dramas, not a problem. But I've got other tinders that'll work better than that. Um, I could char it and that would work like a champ for charring. This stuff is really good for charring. Um, I will use charred this. He's come right up to the back here behind me. He scared the hell out of me. Um, I can char this and this stuff takes a, take a spark like a champ. And I don't wear my arm out. I don't wear my stones out. Um, five minutes in a char tin. All that would be charred and it is perfect tinder. Um, rather than two weeks, oh, a week of trying to make it inconsistently take a spark or not take a spark at all. So yeah, no, not doing it anymore. That's it, done, over and done with. Um, again, with the punkwood, ash lie can get it to do it, but it's not going to work for all strikers all the time. So yeah, I found um, some strikers, you're not going to get it to work. Because um, I was going to do Ashlow Punkwood Flint and Steel Saturday, but I couldn't get it to take a spark with um, my bow striker from Good Steel because it just wasn't generating enough sparks. And yeah, it was just, it, it, it's a great striker and it sparks really well, but it was too small, too hard to do. And um, yeah, so you, you've got to take all these into consideration when you're doing it too. So yeah, you know, like it's, 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 it's everything, you've got to round the whole experience out to be able to do it. So yeah. But anyway, they, that's just some more thoughts on this Ash Lie business I've got. Um, I did a burn last night, really good. I've got some beautiful ash, but it's got a little bit of charcoal in it, which I am going to filter out. I might... Um, I'm going to have another fire tonight. I'll do a fire tonight. I'll get the ash from it. And then I'll do one more cook. Amalgamate. Because I've got some, um, I've got two mason jars, two small mason jars with 11 pH. I'll amalgamate it. The two small ones plus whatever ash I get from all the fires. Last night, tonight, and what I had on, I did one on Thursday as well. Um, so I'll have, I've got that much there. I'll have probably about that much by tonight. And then um, that'll be all the ash lie I'll need and it'll be all done. Um, yeah, so, and then I'll have two mason jars full big mason jars full of ash lye and then that'll be all I'll do um, I think Sheep Station Cook is sending me some a package and I'll probably I'm thinking about re-soaking all the punk wood I've got that I've done already once I'll probably get the punk wood he sends me and re-soaking all the punk wood I've got as well in the 12 pH and see if I can, I'll re-soak it for 48 hours minimum, get it a good soak on it and then dry it out again just to see if I can make it a bit more consistent. Um, and we'll go from there and then revisit it again. But as I said, this is... This is confirmed that I am not going to be doing this again. Um, I'm going to put this in a bag. Or I might char it. I can use it as ember transfer anyway. 
But that was... A, thanks, Andrew, for that suggestion. Um, that worked really well. Yeah, not too bad at all. But um, for that little bit of paper, I, I'll, I'll, yeah, I might put it in a bag and just store it. Um, and I'll, I'll use it at some stage. Anyway, they're my thoughts. Um, Ash lie so far. Um, just an update and a little bit of a rambling. Um, and going from there. Anyway, thanks for watching.